Hey guys. Hey guys. Welcome back to another Budget With Us video. This is our last paycheck for November and the last paycheck that we're going to have now until December 13th. Welcome to the train wreck. <laughs> um, on the bright side, we have made it through November. Woo! I will do, we will do a separate video here shortly before Cody goes back to work just to kind of recap financially what went on in November. I was looking at it the other day and while things don't look great, you know, as you can see, our credit card has gone up by a lot. Things look awful. Um, financially, we don't look great, um, but all things considered, I am happy we've managed to make it to the other side of this month. It could have been a whole lot worse. <laughs> <laughs> so next month should look a lot better, um, fingers crossed, going forward. But we'll kind of go through here. There, you'll see there is overspending. Um, we got a gym membership for Cody here. This was the enrollment fee. The catch is, is that we don't have to pay for the gym membership until January 6th. So they kind of balanced out. Um, but it's still overspending for now until the next paycheck on the 13th. And then we'll have to obviously put that back on the credit card. We had a few unexpected subscriptions go through. I've been trying to go through canceling everything that I think we can cancel, and I missed one, so we got charged for it. That's totally my bad. I should have been more on top of it. And then vehicle maintenance. So if you guys watched our previous videos, you know that we had to get another set of winter tires. Yeah. Um, the good news is that the set we bought is awesome. Yeah, this set is on point, <laughs> and going forward, we will now have two sets, so they'll last longer, so it's a good long-term move. But it kind of threw a, a, a wrench in the in, in the works to have to buy tires twice unexpectedly. Yeah, so um, yeah, so there was that. Plus we had to get our vehicle fixed. We did budget just over six hundred dollars for that. And if you look at October, we spent almost fourteen hundred dollars on vehicle maintenance. So having to come up with more money again was really difficult. We still wound up going over budget, but we tried to cover as much of it as we could. Now, now, to be fair, that was it wasn't like something broke on the car because we have a lemon or whatever. It was just like routine maintenance that we do have a sinking fund for. Um, however, things get tight and sinking funds end up getting drained every now and then as you need money because you want to try to stay out of debt. Mm -hmm. And just kind of all at once, we realize that like, oh my God, we have to do this like right now. Yeah. Like I said, November was a really tough month financially for us, and I'm just happy to be making it to the other side. So this money here, the only thing really that we're going to budget probably for is maybe a little bit of extra grocery money because we're going to have to pick up a few things tonight. So how much do you think we need? Like $20 or something? I leave on Monday, so like we have more than enough food. 20 bucks will for sure get us until I leave. Um, okay. So whatever you think you need on top of that. Well, we only need the $20 for whatever we're buying tonight. And then what we're going to do is we're going to start budgeting into December. So again, this is our last paycheck until December 13th. So the car loan comes uh, out on the 2nd, so we know that we have to budget for that. Okay, so just for my own understanding and maybe to help other people following along, what you mean is that there's still unaddressed things on the November YNAB budget that we're not going to be able to do right now because there's things in December we have to carry about, so we bumped a month forward to take care of those. Yes, yeah, because okay. normally what we would do is anytime we have overspending, we would just cover that first, and then we would budget with the rest of our money. But if we do that, then we don't have any money left over for the things that'll come out of our bank account, like the car loan. And that means that we're gonna basically have to float that balance on our credit card still, and worry about budgeting for the cash items that we need, if that kind of makes sense. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, no, I, I kind of understand it. I just wanted to explain it a little bit more for those following along at home. Yeah, so our car loan is budgeted for. Rent was already budgeted for. I made sure that that was taken care of with our last paycheck because I knew um, that the one at the end of the month wouldn't be enough to even come close to covering that. Normally, our bill, bill and our tenant's insurance would be budgeted for, but again, these are going to have to go on the credit card um, and float us until the 13th paycheck. What I am going to do... You know what, let's do gas and groceries first and then we'll see what we have left over. So groceries, when it's just me here, I tend to not need a whole lot of money. So even though our goal- It baffles me that she can survive on nothing basically indefinitely. <laughs> so even though our goal is usually $80 a week, I'm gonna put in 60 um, for the first two weeks. And again, that's because our next paycheck isn't until the 13th. So this has to last me the first two weeks of December. 
Um, and I'm going to try and stay under that. Dining out. I'm going to try and not do any dining out at all. I can probably not do dining out. And then gas. How much do we have left in our gas tank? Do you remember? Shade under half. Okay, and we still have $16, so we're probably going to want to fill up again before Cody leaves. But, fun fact, I made it the last shift, although his last shift was only nine days. I made it through that entire shift on a quarter tank of gas. I did no driving. <laughs> I basically stayed home. Staying home saves a lot of money. So, I think what we'll probably do is maybe put $60 in here for now. Because that'll give us two full tanks. And I really don't think I'm going to have to fill up after we fill up before you go. Okay. Now, Cody's next shift is two weeks that he'll be gone for, so obviously I will be doing some driving, but I really don't think I'm going to need all of it. Okay, so that takes care of the bare necessities. Gas, food, rent, car payment. So we have $238 left. So I guess I could budget the bell bill, or I could budget our subscriptions. Um... I probably, I don't think we would worry about sinking funds or anything right now because there's other priorities, but what do you want to budget this money towards? Um, I do know there's a couple of things I need to grab um, for work. And before I forget, actually, now that I'm looking at this, we are going to have to budget something for our credit card payment because that's going to be due on the 10th, our minimum payment. And I'm betting that's going to be about $150 now because of how high our credit card is. So we have $88 left. Okay. What do you need for work? Um, well, my work sweats are really wearing out. At a certain point, it's going to be like a work kilt. <laughs> um, okay. Probably by the end of shift. So do you need it before you go to work for this shift? Yes. Okay, so how much money do you need for clothing for work? Hopefully it'll only be 20 bucks for a decent pair of sweatpants or two. Okay. And I might need to re-up my socks. I don't know. I have to count after I do laundry. Okay, Actually, so no, I'm good for socks. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. So we have $68 left. So that would be enough for, I think, our subscriptions. Yeah, we could budget for our subscriptions, and then the rest of this would have to go on the credit card. Okay. Do you want to do that? or? Yeah, I think that makes the most sense. Okay. All right, so we kind of have our basics covered. I'm just going back through and double checking that we do actually have everything for November paid. And we do. So that about covers it. <laughs> I feel so bad doing these November videos, you guys, because they've been so depressing <laughs> yeah and i mean i guess it's not depressing in that like you know we could be homeless and having our car repoed totally 100 um, percent. like we're still so like it's not as bad as it could be we're still making our bills <laughs> but uh yeah no we were really excited and driving hard at the beginning of the year and i feel like by the end of the year we kind of just petered out and some of that is work situations um on my part a, a few things of come up unexpectedly that we didn't plan on and are kind of really they'll be okay for us long term but in the short term they're really screwing us over mm -hmm. and again we'll do a recap video of all of november in the next day or two here there are some things to celebrate as tough of a month as mm -hmm. it was there are some things to celebrate so yeah namely just i mean it sucked and we still made it through <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So I guess that's about it for this video. Pretty short and sweet. Um, and I guess we will see you guys on our next video. Bye. Bye.